creating textures and placing them onto objects is all very well and good. But what happens when we want to make something look a little bit more accurate? Now, what I've got here is an object. It's representing a brick wall. And you can see from the size of it that it's two and a half meters high. It's 300 or 3,000 millimeters, but three meters wide. And it's 75 meters or 75 millimeters rather deep. Now, with a wall which is essentially three meters by two and a half meters, these bricks as they're being represented on here are far too big. So what we want to do is we want to change our mapping scale so that it will fit these bricks onto this wall so they are the, cor the correct size. Now I'll start that by applying a UVW map modifier. So UVW map and I'm going to make that a box and I'm also, you'll notice there's an option box here, going to set real world scale or real world map size and you'll see there that all of these options for length and height and width all suddenly disappear. There's no need to be concerned because what we're going to do is up in our material, you'll see if I come up to my top level, this is the top level of the material and I'm going to go down into the diffuse channel either by pressing that M or under my maps, clicking on the uniform running board there. And you'll see that we also have an option in here called use real world map scale. Now at the moment, because we're not using real world map scale for this material, we've just got tiling values. But if I click on use real world map scale, what happens is we have this millimeter size change here. Okay, so it's one millimeter by one millimeter. Now, if I come back and I just turn these off for a moment, what we can see is effectively, um, oh, in actual fact, no, I don't need to do that. I was going to look at that, but what we've got within the image is we've got five bricks, one, two, three, four, five, and 16 courses high. And in actual fact, I didn't need to really turn that off. I could turn that back on and turn that back on. If I were to uh, view the image from here, you can see this is actually the image in its correct size and scale, whereas before it was stretched over that brick wall. But you can see we've got one, two, three, four, five, and we've got 16 courses high. Now, that means that in the real world, this is going to be uh, 200, uh, well, a brick rather, is 225 millimeters plus the mortar wide. And it's, I think, 112, in fact, yes, I can confirm that, it's 112 and a half millimeters high. Okay, so that's coming from sort of standard workbooks. That means that this image, if this was in the real world, and that was a real section of wall, it means it would be 1125 millimeters wide and 1800 millimeters high. So what I need to do is, in now my width and height here, I need to type that in. So what I'll need to do is I'll need to type 1125 in there and 1800 in there and press enter. And what you'll see immediately is that our bricks are now the correct size and they're being represented on here in exactly the correct way. If I was to take off this tiling, what you would see here is this is our one image. So if I look at my image there, you can see that that's the same height and representation there as it is here. If I turn my tiling back on, then obviously what I get is a nice accurate view of these bricks on that wall. And if I were to do a very quick render, uh, let's just do a render production, there we go. You can see the bricks are being represented on there a lot more accurately for a wall which is three meters long and two and a half meters high. So briefly, just to go over that, if we want to use our real world map scale, we have to make sure that our map in our materials editor is actually set to be use real world scale. We need to check the size of the image itself and how big that is against real world sizings and you may have to go and find uh, reference material from architectural handbooks as to how wide a certain brick is or how high a certain brick is uh, but generally it's some um, 225 plus the mortar and 100 uh, and 12.5 plus the mortar high so depending on how big your your image actually would be in the real world depends on what you type in here and then to get that to represent as well, you need a UVW map modifier on your object 
and you need to set your real world uh, map, sorry, sorry, real world map size to be active.